chickens might just be coming home to roost. For the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdekano the Bobu, also appears ready to bust for the self acclaimed leader of the Biafra struggle for self determination as Kano, according to the weed checks, is currently on the run following the official request by the Nigerian government for his arrest and extradition from the United Kingdom with the international police now right on its trade. The weed gathered exclusively last week that the application for the detention and extradition of the Biafran leader was made by the government about two weeks ago through the official diplomatic channel at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Hmm. Okay. The federal government is uh, trying to extradite Namdekano back to Nigeria and through the Interpol. <laughs> well, he knew Namdekano is not a man of intelligence. We knew, okay, he is psychotic, savage, and a novice to pursue the agenda he preaches in a violent manner and still senseless egos are supporting him. We knew the end of the game was very near. Here we are, with Namdi, now on the run, being chased by Interpol, but still in hiding. Evan, the word over and over for long considering Namde Kano and his cohorts as psychotic, psychopheric and nothing but scammers and bravo elements. Namdi is by the day growing fast and his account swelled by the Hawa. Why he goes back home are dying from ESN and IPO bullets in the name of killing saboteurs. Okay. Where someone says your West Expose your fears. You are afraid of what will happen to you and your government if South East leaves. Take heart and begin to organize yourselves. Not only will Southerners leave, it will it won't be long. So be wise. Begin to organize your life without Southerners. Hmm. Just I have been saying that Namdekano is a coward. I dare say again, why on the run if he knows that he is sincere? with the agitation for freedom my dear you don't know nothing can you not keep quiet now that you can see that it's not serious with say it's agitation can you now go to sleep as you have known is a coward ha namdekano he is everywhere in the zoo even britain papa papa no fit trying even if like muhammad if muhammad rises from the dead the himself he cannot try that well, you wish you will not see him to key. He will always be miles away from the evil man. If you are blind and you are deaf, so you didn't hear Britain promising to give a asylum to any Biafra who is under threat by the Nigeria government, then how did you expect them to extradite a British citizen to Nigeria to be prosecuted? I think you are not only blind but dead. Obviously, he don't know international politics. British inter uh, government will trade anyone for profit. Hmm, like seriously, this is really interesting. And in some other articles, we are hearing that uh, Namde Kano as a flee uh, uh, UK because international police, Interpol, are looking for him. Like seriously, uh, you know, this is what the government wants and the supporters of a. Uh, the government, uh, these are the kind of news they would like to hear. These are the things that gladdens their hearts. Well, I am not hyper, but Yoruba, if we can have a faithful leader like Namde Kano, just as we have Sunday Bobo, all this nonsense will be no more. Kudos to Namde Kano. Hmm, someone say, We know your type. Always second fiddle. Okay, let him be extradited so as to faithful trial and be executed accordingly. The issue of jumping the bail and continue to talk rubbish while in Israel will be no more. Hmm. Are you not a simpleton? I laugh when Namde Kano people hear news that eh, is against their leader. The next thing is fake news. Lie, lie. Okay. Uh, face what's facing Nigeria. Fade government and stop distracting people's attention. Namde Kano is eh, untouchable and a blessing to humanity. You see, that a lot of places have been captured, but why is it do it so difficult? The question now is that okay, <laughs> if you want to arrest him, let's even keep our finger crossed because 
like I said, these are the things that gladden the, the people who are supporting the government. And unfortunately, what Namde Kano is preaching or is fighting for, they are there. Two, they are suffering it, but nobody to speak for them. But they have no choice than to continue to believe in government. F close to 10 years inside Nigeria. Close to 10 years inside Nigeria. Do you know how many people or thousands of people that Boko Haram have taken? Recently, the bandits issue is now growing. They are not looking for those ones, but Gumi is working on how for them to be paid, for their, how they, for them to be to be pampered. It's already they are already already pampered. They are inside the inside the country. How many lives have they taken? Chicago has been in how many times they have even killed Chicago? Almost how many times it's resurrecting. That is what they are telling us. And that is to tell you that uh, they are all lies. Up to now, they are they, they, they are telling us that uh, Boko Haram has been defeated technically, but now they are being exposed with the way and manner as which they are going. And the bandits are going and the Boko Haram says, now, Shikawa has been in the country for close, more than a decade. They can't even arrest him. Not that uh, he, he traveled, though. He, he, he left the country. He's inside the country. So what are we talking about? Six years down the line, that this government came and said, oh, they are going to do X, Y, Z concerning this Boko Haram. But unfortunately, they changed all the plans and began to give them money. I was surprised a day when the governor of Borno State was telling us that, you know, I'm, I like two times they've really, you know, they've attacked him. And the third time, the man said, oh, they wanted to attack him. They saw them and he just told his people, he said, security details, that please don't just go near him. Let them go on their own. They know him. They know where he is. They know where he is. So somebody who is now fighting for freedom. Now, Lai Mohammed is coming out to tell us that uh, they are ready for restructuring, but not for secession. That is how they want to deceive them again. You are ready. Why must you be ready? You, it is in your manifesto in 2015. All of a sudden, they discarded it. They, they, they tried to tell us that, uh, oh, they never promised a uh, restructuring and what have you. But at the end of the day, when they say, saw that they have, been, they have been caught, they had to organize a, a whatever, how to say, their committee, which uh, Erufai headed the committee. Up to today, they discarded it. Now, they now see that uh, the heat of the separation is, is growing than expected. Now they are coming out to tell us that they want to restructure but not secession. You can imagine you can imagine them. So Namdi Kano is now what you uh you want to extradite him. How many times? Like just like the way they told us that uh, they have killed Chicago. Because this is not the first time they, they have been trying to say they want to extradite uh, Namdi Kano back to the country. We have a problem real problems and the same way you are not negotiating but you can negotiate with the uh, bandits and terrorists but you cannot negotiate with those who are asking you for good governance since you cannot provide it good governance they say they want to go their way and i, I don't know why it is now a, a, a problem even the uk that you guys are talking about they left eu why did they leave eu the was there any war when they left eu there was an agreement when they came for to be part of eu and when they felt that they were tired they had to leave did it cause war? Because when people begin to say, oh, uh, Nigeria cannot, I don't know, this is just a black man, Nigeria cannot go, no country can survive to war. War in the in this first place, but uh, it is legal and it is constitutional for people to be suffering under a government for a very long time. It is acceptable because these are the things that are bringing this whole thing. So guys, uh, let us keep our finger crossed and let's see what will definitely happen because with all this uh, story, <laughs> Let us keep having. We know, we know when they are being, when they, they are being hit with uh, all this, uh, you know, for if the government is already being exposed. Of course, the exposure is just they, they have just been exposed, so they will just look for a way to divert attention. But let's keep our finger crossed and see whether Namdekano will be extradited or not.